Yeah, Luna, are we riding the bus, bro? Eat the chips. With the chips, yeah. And phone. You want my phone? Too bad. Mommy's using her phone. Straight into a mall. Hi, Carrie, oh, you're doing you great. <laughs> so, so how is how is Cholula laid out? There are two Cholulas. There is San Pedro Cholula, which we are in. Okay. And then there's San Andres Cholula, and the pyramid is in the middle. So, and they both have their own Zocalos? And they both have their own Zocalos and their own feel. Completely different feel. What's the feel of this one? Um, there's more tourists, and it's the largest Zocalo in maybe Latin America. Wow. I'll have to Google that to confirm. Um, and it's, as you can tell, totally hectic and crazy all the time. The San Andres Zocalo is more like, oh, people in the neighborhood walked up to the corner to take their kids to the park. What side do you live on? San Andres. Okay, so you think that's like more livable? Yes, we started out here and we were like, this is so fun, it's so awesome, but like. Now you can't stand it a year it's, later. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. So in Mexico, they have restaurants all over. I haven't seen them since I lived in San Cristobal, in Las Casas. So you go into the restaurant and there's like a nanny that takes the kids to a play area so that you can have a beer in peace. We are in one of those restaurants right now in Cholula. That's really nice. Oh, we decided we liked Cholula so much and we weren't in a hurry to take a two hour bus ride back, so we checked into a hotel. So you can say hotel there. It was like basically all that was available on booking.com and it's cool. The kids are like spent from a big day. We're at a hotel, everybody's in jammies, they're watching Minions, and now I have been sent to search for tacos. I have left this door, and I found, across the street, tacos. Viva Mexico. Okay, we're 
day two in Cholula, our whole team's still here. Nina, David, Alexis, and me. And we're on our way to the pyramid. It's supposed to be the biggest pyramid in the world. Yeah, that's right. And Nuna, Egypt, take that. But there's a church on top of it because when the Spanish came here, they would build their churches on top of indigenous landmarks, this one being Aztec. But it doesn't really matter. They mostly just tried to like convert people into their religion by superimposing it on top of their own monuments. I don't know if it really worked as well as like slattering all of them did, but anyway, it's supposed to be really beautiful. It's like the main attraction for this little town. It's why people come from the city here and it's supposed to have a great view and it's early enough in the morning that we think we can do it in relative comfort. Everyone's ready. David, are you ready? Are you ready? You ready? Born ready. <laughs> Luna, are you ready? Wait. Yeah. And mama. And, and mama. Chico. Chico. ¿Qué es ese? Piña colada. Piña colada. Oh, no. Do you like piña coladas? Only in the rain. <laughs> Coconut water. Look how much of it it is. It's 20 pesos. It's just over a dollar, people. Get jealous! <laughs> We're going through a tunnel under the pyramid. And it was free for us to come in. And I didn't even have to show my I'm gonna be a resident paper. Here we go. It's creepy under here. I'm not really a claustrophobic person, but it's pretty effing claustrophobic in here. Like, we're walking for a long time and there's like a lot of portions where people stop. And then it's like bottlenecked. And it's tight. It's really tight. If you're claustrophobic at all, this is not the place for you. 100%. And Luna's here. And Luna's, we might see a ghost, right, Luna? A ghost. Do you think we'll see a ghost? Yes. She keeps on yelling, ghost, like as if there's one there. Is there a ghost? No. Better be a ghost. There should be a ghost. Oh god, this goes on forever. This. Ready? Set. And go. Set. <laughs> We're at the okay. church on okay. the pyramid. Hey, mommy. Mommy's here, and who else is here? was good. Luna threw up the whole way. And we watched a Tom Cruise movie. Now we're on our way home and we're sort of happy that the weekend's done, but Cholula is still on the list, in the running, to become potentially our next home. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to share it, I'm not against that. You can hit that subscribe button and attend to find out more about our adventures in Mexico. Next up, we're on our way to Mazunte Beach in Oaxaca. Ya yeah, Luna? Can I say adios? Pukey face. I love you.